Please, rather quickly, look, number one, your life will not change until you agree with God about your sin. Your, your life is not going to change until you agree with God about your sin. In other words, stop fighting with God. Stop wrestling with God. Uh, come to the Lord uh, with your hands up and say, God, I'm wrong for this, whatever it is. Your life will start to radically change when you say, God, I'm confessing this to you. Uh, so stop fighting with the Lord. What is sin? This is a great definition of sin. Number two, sin means to engage in wrongdoing. That, that's, that's what sin is. It's, it's to engage in wrongdoing. That's what, that's what sin is. It's to engage in wrongdoing, and God wants you just to, to, to fess up for whatever that sin is. When I was 16 years old in the 10th grade, um, we, we used to have lunch. How many of y'all have lunch, and it's horrible? Lunch is just horrible. I mean, it, it's not good. You don't want to eat it. So we had a McDonald's and a Burger King right down the street. But they say underclassmen, people who are in the ninth and 10th grade, cannot walk off of this campus and go to any kind of restaurant. So I was like, nah, I'm way too cool for that. I want to go get me a Whopper with cheese. So they say if we catch you walking out of here, the cops will come and get you, and you will receive a huge ticket. I was like, right. So one day, every day, we would go, and we would go to McDonald's, Burger King, nothing happened. This one particular day, I was up there ordering my food. Let me get a number one. Yep, yep, pickles, onions. Yeah, let me get cheese. Yeah, y'all yeah, want to get this? Then I heard, whoop, whoop. Oh, my goodness. Hey, what are you guys doing? Oh, we're just getting some lunch. We're going to, hey, he said, let us take you back to school. So we're in the back of a police car going back to my high school, and he said, go ahead and eat that hamburger because that's going to be the most expensive hamburger you ever eat. So we get there, and I'm in the back seat of the car. Everybody like, what, what did Leon do? People telling their horror stories. Yeah, man, I, I, got, I got arrested for, for, for armed robbery. Uh, I got arrested for stealing. Leon, what did you get arrested for? A whopper with cheese. And if something happened, I don't know if you've ever been in a courtroom, but they set my court date. And the closer I got to the court date, the more nervous I became. I mean, my hands were, were sweating, and, and, and they say, are, are you going to come? Are you going to confess to your sins or, on what you did? Or, or are you going to plead innocent or guilty? Which one are you going to do? And I was like, I don't know. And then two days, three days, I was like, one day, and I couldn't even sleep, and, and, and my court date was set, and I walked in there, and, and I stood before the judge, and I'm, I'm standing there, I'm shaking. The judge said, what do you plead, guilty or not guilty? I said, guilty. He said, are you sure? Yes, I did it. Let me get out of here. That's what God wants from you, to go from the rationalizations and from the excuses to say, Lord, I'm guilty. 